Hi guys, it's Sunday night here in Manila and I'm recording my Monday video which is going to be a combination of three things. It's usually just premium cars getting unboxed, which we're still doing that, but we're also going to unbox a chase car and this is going to be all based on the new challenging, a challenge I'm bringing up to you guys. So, um, the challenge is going to be wagons and any like sedan delivery, uh, hearse, station wagon is acceptable. Um, last resort, if you guys don't have many wagons, but you have like uh, panel trucks like the 55 Chevy panel, 56 Ford F100 panels, the 64 GMC panel, those are acceptable too. Uh, preferably wagons and things based on the sedan, the car itself, but hey, if you don't have that many, then you can use the panel trucks, no big deal. Um, then if you want, uh, you can do 10 of them. Uh, if you do more, that's fine. If you don't have that many, just show us what you got, no big deal. Uh, 10, we'll say, is like the rule of thumb to go by. So really, no like strict rules, just um, maybe some not strictly enforced rule would be 10 of your favorite and keep it based on the sedan platform. So wagons, sedan deliveries, and hearses. So with that being said, I'll get started with mine. So this is my top 10 wagons in my collection. And actually three of them still have not been unboxed. Uh, the Ultra Red in the background. This one actually, I didn't unbox it, but the blister glue came loose and the blister kind of just fell off of this. This blister is actually taped back on. So I've had this car in some pictures before, but you could kind of see where the glue got brittle. I've never actually had that happen before on an auto world. So uh, we'll start with this guy, get him out. And you can see a couple wagons in the background, not trying to hide them. And oh yeah, by the way, you probably noticed my cover photo for the video. The thumbnail photo was for or from the other diorama, but as I said before, that diorama, like working on that side of the table is kind of awkward sometimes, so that's why I decided to go ahead and just shoot it from over here. Plus I got a little more room over here, I believe. So this is the Outer World 64 Galaxy Wagon. Uh, 64 for Country Squire uh, is the more formal official name. This one should have been this like blue color, aqua blue, but instead it's the Chase, it's the Ultra Red, and the only thing on this one, this is one of the older ones, is the Ultra Red paint. Um, so sometimes they have white interior or white base, even the white trim sometimes some the trim will be painted like that pearl white um but this is just the ultra red paint um this is a very low production number to begin with it's one of 2500 um so with that being said the wagon in this package there's only 50 of them if they still are going by the two percent and this one would have been in the two percent category this is from i think 2015 or something like that uh no actually 2018 so maybe they have up the production run i'm not sure i think it's still two percent um but as I showed you guys before, they used the same chase on different cards, like my F-150s, my Jeeps, my square bodies. I've showed you I've got both chases, but it's the exact same chase, just on different cards. So once you open them up, it kind of loses all uh, sentimental aspect of the card and being this different variant. And so as you open them up, all you have is doubles. So... Anyways, uh, there's probably, I would say, a couple hundred of these in existence because they probably use this Chase model on uh, probably three or four different cards. They say that every like A and B release, 
is different with the chases. So maybe they might have a hundred of these, but I don't know how many like uh, variants were, not variants, but how many were made for that uh, B variant. Uh, maybe this one color of the aqua blue was rare. They only made 2,500 of it, and the other color could have been 10,000. Who knows? But Auto World, as usual, very nicely detailed, cool plate. It says Squire on the plate. And let's get the hood open and take a look at the motor compartment. This one, I don't see a radiator hose like on the trucks and the newer ones. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe it does have one. Kind of hard to tell. I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. But they did a very beautiful job, though. All the details, like the radiator, radiator cap, and then, like, the washer bottle over here. The blue engine. They did a great job. The wood grain sides. Very nice. Country Squire emblem. The quarter panel. And detailed tail lights, country square on the back, the lock, the roof rack, everything. Yeah, Auto World does a great job on their stuff. And I will say it again, the only complaint I have is those damn square bodies with the sloping rear wheel opening. That's the only complaint that I can have against Auto World at the moment. Um, so yeah, this is probably my favorite chase wagon. I have other chase wagons, but that was the only one that I felt should be in my top 10. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these other ones here on the table. This is by Muscle Machines, Funline. Uh, this is from the Jesse James series. And they were a little like random on the scaling with some of his cars in the series like the Cadillacs and the Coupes and such. This one, though, is very accurate to scale. Very nicely detailed, too, with the chassis. Um, everything. The paint's beautiful. The tail lights. The West Coast Choppers emblem on the back. Very nicely done. Uh, I know somebody was asking me about muscle machines. They didn't know they made accurate vehicles outside of like the cartoonish things that they usually make but they do they make some nice stuff the nitro door slammers that i have a few of that i did a video on those are very nicely done but they're a little big for 164th they also make some really nice jdm race cars um but they're also a little big i think yeah this has got the opening hood um with a I would say that's like the blue flame six maybe in this thing inline six cylinder very nice detail on this too and the interior I think in the back you can even see the hydraulic pumps in the back window so they did a very great job on this West Coast Customs on the top very cool casting. They also have it in blue. Like his real one, I think, was in blue. This one's gold. He may have painted it later on gold. I don't know. But as you can see, let me zoom in on this so you can see it a little better. Um, if you push down on the car, it, well, yeah, it pops up. Not very much, but enough to change the ride height. I like there we go that's better so as you can see the ride height changes let me get my hand out of there and oh let me see if i can get it to zoom in or not zoom in but focus in so yeah pretty cool adjustable ride height um i like the revel low riders better but this is still cool and you push down on it and then she slammed on the ground again so pretty cool. One of my favorite wagons. Um, this 
actually is probably my favorite 57. M2 does some nice ones too. I just don't have any in my collection at the moment. So next one I'll show you guys. This is just the main line, but I will swap it. This has the wheels from the 100% Hot Wheels Corvette Pro Mod car. Um, actually, my buddy's dog got a hold of the Corvette and chewed it up, and he just gave it to me so I could use it as a wheel donor for this Nova Gasser. So as you can see on the wheels, there's a couple little puppy teeth prints in the tires and wheels. But hey, it does okay better than just the plastic ones makes it look more realistic um i still haven't detailed the lights which i usually do on the main lines when i do a wheel swap so this i still have to spend some time on and do the wheel swap but this one i didn't even drill the chassis because these are like push on style wheels so i just cut the old ones off with a pair of side cutters and then put these on and they do roll the back ones here kind of rub the wheel opening a little bit um, but still yet great display model as I said I like it better with these wheels than just the stock mainline plastic so that's one of the wheel swaps I've done and then this guy you've seen before in the past in the unboxing I have the chase of this guy too uh, the raw version, this is the green light, uh, Ohls Vista Cruiser, like 70 to 72. Uh, this came from the Waikiki set. That's why it's got the surfboard on it. Very cool, very nicely done. It looks like a stock 442 wagon with a set of American racing wheels or Kragers, whatever you want to call them. They did a great job on this car. I will give green light that. Um... Very nicely detailed, and I love that bubble roof with that extra window there, like the moon roof, or whatever you want to call it. They even did the Oles emblem. It, they do have opening tailgates too, which is very cool. These are really cool because sometimes I'll put my dog that I have in my diorama in the back here for some pics and stuff, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I like this. The raw one's cool too. It just looks like silver. Um, so it's uh, not one of my favorites. So the green stock one I like more than the raw chase. I don't even call them green machines anymore because they're just raw. There's no green feature. So it kind of defeats the purpose of calling it a green machine. So this is my favorite super wagon. I have the Nova Super also, the wagon. But this 59 Chevy Delivery, this is actually one of my favorite castings of like a sedan delivery by anyone. Uh, I really like the Slick Rides Hearst edition that they have with the chrome wheels. And then they had a variant with black wheels. Um, I don't have those, but I do really dig them. This is the Super. Even the regular Treasure Hunt, though, had die cast chassis it was one of the nicer like regular treasure hunts released before they stopped making the um regular treasure hunts with the super variant this was the last year and then in 2012 they went to hidden supers and then they had a regular treasure hunt lineup and it was still marked and then in 13 they started hiding everything this has some paint imperfections on the roof but no biggie Still really cool. One of my favorite super wagons. Well, it is my favorite super wagon. So, let's go ahead and open another one. One of the premiums. This is the 72 Olds Vista Cruiser uh, Hearst Pace Car. It's pretty cool looking. Um, let's get him out and get a closer look at him. I actually bought a couple of these when they came out. Uh, so actually, I'm going to leave that one carded and show you my loose one. And they did a really nice job on this. The tires are a little bit too big, though. That's a one problem with green light sometimes. The tires are too fat. Uh, wish they would have done something like the green wagon. But still yet, they wanted to go for the like Hearst look so they did the right wheels the rally wheels and everything like that they got the Ram Air hood everything on this one 
very cool. The other wagon, I think, yeah, it just has the painted stripes with the bubble hood. No air ram, or ram air, sorry. So they did a very nice job on this. The trademark gold stripes for the Hearst. All the official pace car emblems. This is the medical director. I guess they wanted a wagon in case somebody got hurt and they had to haul them away. So this is cool. This, as I said, was my open one. Um, and unfortunately, the tailgate did not open too well on this one and it actually broke off. So sometimes you have to be kind of careful with that too because they will actually break. One of the hinges broke on this one. So um, yeah, that's just one thing I wanted to point out. Be a little careful whenever you do open the tailgates on some of these because they are delicate. So anyways... That's your Hearst official pace car wagon. And they actually did make these. I was surprised, but you can find pics of the real ones on Google. So pretty cool. So let's take a look at a couple of the other loose ones. This is the only JDM one I got out here. Um, this is, as I said before, when I unboxed the Melling car, this is my favorite variant of the KBG, uh, KPG C10 wagon, which basically is the first gen GTR uh, platform, just in wagon form, also known as Hako Suka, which means box, I guess, in Japanese. So pretty cool little wagon, love the color, love the stance, the wheels, love everything about this little guy. Um, they did a great job with this. This is the first release of this, and I think the best release of that. Just nice, plain, straightforward paint job. No bells and whistles, no graphics. Just stock-looking car that has dropped with wheels on it. Then, another Auto World. This is probably my favorite Auto World casting for wagons. The 69 Chevy Kingswood Estate. Uh, this is very cool. This is one of the first ones. They had the green one and the white one, I think, were the first releases. So, very cool wagon with the opening hood. Um, I'm really surprised they didn't have, like, an opening tailgate on these two. But the engine compartment on this one's done very nice. It's got the big block in it. Also, radiator hoses. The washer bottle or the overflow for the radiator not sure but yeah they did a really great job on the engine compartment of this Chevy orange but yeah it's a I guess big block you can tell by the big valve covers hideaway headlights which is really cool blue bow tie in the grill um, really nice job Big Block. Yeah, that answers my question. <laughs> the license plate says Big Block. So, yeah, definitely a Big Block in this one. 69 would have been 396 probably, maybe 427. So, very cool. Also has the roof rack. Nicely done. Now, the next one, same car, but my favorite variant. As I said before, I'm big into the old race cars and stuff. This is probably my favorite, um, maybe even my favorite Auto World car uh, overall. Not just for the wagons or things like that. This may be my favorite Auto World casting altogether with the drag racing livery, co-sponsor, decals and the glass they did a great job the ultra red of this thing is really cool too like all of the graphics are on it but they look like they're ghosted in because of the dark red paint um very cool i would love to get my hands on that chase version um there you go this one's got a chrome air cleaner but same setup and it doesn't have any type of 
vanity plate or anything like that. This one's got the open headlights, no hideaways. Or if it does have hideaways, they're open. So yeah, no plate on the back either. Strictly track purposes, it seems like. Hudson, Iowa. I mean, this is also a real car. I don't know if it was raced in the 60s or not, but yeah, somebody has this car and they do race it. That's pretty cool. But that's probably my favorite wagon of all of them. That would be my favorite. So last but not least is the first Norman Rockwell Series 55 Chevy sedan delivery. And thankfully, one of my friends in America, Matthew Hicks, uh, did me a huge favor and picked up the second run uh, this past Christmas and sent it to my mother's place in America. So I'll have it when I get home because there was some kind of complications here where the green light distributor lost his contract with green light. So we did not get a chance to get the second run. Norman Rockwell's, so he was nice enough to pick one up for me. So I'm very thankful for him doing this for me. But um, here I did have a chance to get Series 1. So this is my favorite from that whole series. Actually, it's the only one from that series that I have. Uh, I'm debating whether or not to get the Dodge Van. I think they have the Dodge Van, which is like a toy delivery truck, which would be kind of cool to have, too, since it's a Mopar. Um, today's the first time I opened this thing in the two years that I've had it. And actually, the little Christmas tree comes off separate, so that would be cool to put in my dioramas at Christmas time this year. And uh, then the wagon, well, the sedan delivery itself. So, I know like a lot of you guys are probably familiar with the 55 Chevy panel by Hot Wheels. It's one of their most iconic castings, something like the VW Drag Bus. So, that is based on the truck platform. This is based on the car platform. So, this is your sedan delivery versus the truck panel or panel truck, they like to call it. So, that's why I was saying like if you guys can do the challenge with all car based wagons and sedan deliveries and hearses that would be great but panel trucks would be acceptable so they did a really good job on this really cool 55 chevy delivery and it's got a opening rear hatch i'm not going to force it open because as i said they have a tendency to break off sometimes and this one's cool because it's got the trailer hitch too so you can hook up a trailer behind it with a trailer full of Christmas trees I guess <laughs> so this wraps it up for my wagon challenge my top 10 in my collection and as I said, if I had to pick one favorite, this would be it. And then out of all my chases, this is my favorite chase. Although two of them made it into the top ten, um, that one would be my favorite super, favorite chase overall. This is my favorite wagon overall. Probably secondly would be the 57 Chevy for Muscle Machines. That's a really cool casting. I would like to get my hands on the teal blue one. So guys, this is the new challenge that I came up with. And this is my top 10. So let's see yours. And uh, I'll be watching for your videos this week. And then on Wednesday, I'll go back to my regular lineup of um, Chase unboxing. This week, I will probably do some green machines or some ultra reds. Um, I, have, I have a little bit of everything left, but uh, I'm not sure what type of manufacturer I will do. If it's going to be like Chevy, Ford, Mopar, uh, it may be a mixture, but we'll see what I come up with. Um, so uh, maybe it'll be ultra red. Since I already did one ultra red today, might as well keep that theme going. So yeah, on, yeah, on Wednesday, we'll go ahead and unbox some more ultra reds. And we'll 
uh, do some Fords and why not? Um, maybe a couple of other guys too, but predominantly it will be Fords to keep this theme going since we already did one Ultra Red Ford. Might as well do a few more on Wednesday. So tune back in for that. Uh, so you guys, um, as usual, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Please like the video. If you really liked it, share it. And if you guys have a channel you want me to check out please let me know i'd be happy to do so and um stay safe stay health healthy and i will see you guys on wednesday thanks for watching